In this video on c -sharp Basics, we'll be doing a demonstration of relational operators. So let's go ahead and see what the equals operator does. Here we've got console.writeLine5 equals 5 and console.writeLine5 equals 6. Let's go ahead and save this and run this. Now you can see that the first console.writeLine of 5 equals 5 returned a value of true. Remember, your result of a relational operator will always return either a true or false Boolean value. So 5 does in fact equal 5, and so it returns a value of true. Then the 5 equals 6 is not true, and therefore returns a Boolean value of false. Next, let's take a look at the not equal relational operator. So with 5 does not equal 6, and 5 does not equal 5, Let's see what the results are for these two right lines. So the results here are that the first console.write line of 5 does not equal 6 returns true, and that's of course because 5 does not equal 6. However, on the second line, 5 does equal 5, so the does not equal operator returns a Boolean value of false, because this is not a true statement. Now let's take a look at the greater than relational operator. Here we've got three write lines and one read line. We've got a write line of five greater than four, five greater than six, and five greater than five. Let's see what the results are of these three write lines. So the results of the first console.write line result in a true Boolean value. Five is in fact greater than four, so it returns a value of true. Then on the second line, we evaluated five greater than six, and since five is not greater than six, it returned a false Boolean value. Then finally, five greater than five also returns a false value because in fact, five equals five. Now let's take a look at the less than relational operator. I have three right lines here, five less than six, five less than four, and five less than five. Let's see what the results are of these three right lines. For the first right line of five less than six, that does in fact return a true Boolean value. But when it evaluated five less than four, five is in fact greater than four, and so the less than operator returned a false Boolean value. Then finally, when five less than five was evaluated, since five is in fact equal to five, it also returned a false Boolean value. Now let's take a look at the greater than or equal to relational operator. Here we have three console right lines. The first one is five is greater than or equal to four. The second right line is five is greater than or equal to six. And the third right line is five is greater than or equal to five. Let's go ahead and run this and see what our results are. Here we see the three Boolean results that we got back from our right lines. We have a five greater than or equal to four returns a true value because five is in fact greater than four. Then on the second right line, we have five greater than or equal to six returns false because in fact six is greater than and also not equal to five. Then finally on the third right line, five is equal to five. And since the relational operator is greater than or equal to, that means that five is equal to five returns true. Finally, let's take a look at the less than or equal to relational operator. The first one is five less than or equal to six. The second one is five is less than or equal to four. And the third one is five is less than or equal to five. Let's go ahead and run this code and see what our results are. Here are the three Boolean results for our less than or equal to operators. The first console.write line is five is less than or equal to six, which of course five is less than six, so that returns true. Then five less than or equal to four returns false because five is greater than four, and that means it's also not equal to four. Then finally, five is equal to five, and so the less than or equal to evaluation does return true.